All right, guys, here we are back on NR2003. Following the Cup Series schedule again, we're going to the Texas Motor Speedway. Of course, they're not going to be racing here in real life, but uh, maybe we will get to see some iRacing Pro Invitational stuff here at Texas. They did just put in the new scan of Texas Motor Speedway. We're going to be visiting the 2000 DirecTV 500. Of course, the family business was alive and well at the time. Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets his first ever NASCAR Cup Series win. His father, Dale Sr., meets him in victory lane, sticks his head in his son's car to hug him before it even comes to a stop in victory circle. Of course, knowing what happened in the future, uh, that makes that a very emotional moment. This was also the first and only cup race for Adam Petty. He got to race with his father Kyle in this race. Unfortunately, he did uh, retire with engine troubles. But yeah, this race had a lot of storyline to it. Very excited to get this one underway. We're going to be doing 34 laps on the 2000 roster, 99 AI difficulty. This will be the original Texas Motor Speedway that is in NR2003. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'll see you guys in the race. Drivers, start your engines. All right, guys, it is race time here in the 2000 Direct TV 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. Decided to qualify for this race just to give myself a better chance to get to the front. And uh, we qualify 35th, so not that many spots gained. But see what we can do here today in 34 laps. Dale Sr. is on the pole, so we might have to fight with the elder Earnhardt to get Dale Jr.'s first win here. Hope you guys are excited for this race. If you are new to the channel, it would help me out a lot if you could subscribe. Uh, that way we can get up to 500 subscribers soon. I can't believe it. I don't even know what to say. It's crazy. For all of you that have ever supported me, thank you very much. It means a lot. And I uh, hope I can uh, entertain you in these crazy times. So here we go. Coming to get the green flag. Gonna be careful on the start. I know that wheel spin can be a thing at this version of this track. Alright, did pretty well there on the start. Lost a bit of ground, but we all are clear. I think we'll have pretty good pace in practice. I was pretty quick. Just going to have to uh, keep working the bottom. That's going to be the place to be around here. So you see, we're just able to shoot past these guys that are on the outside. They're very slow mid-corner. Dale Sr.'s already put a bit of a gap on there at the lead. So if we want to get the win, we're going to have to pick our way through traffic quickly. Oh, don't hit the apron. Jeez, that was almost us finished. God, I gotta keep it off because that just shot my car straight up the track. Past Kyle Petty right at the start. Uh, unfortunately, he never got a chance to race on the track with his son in the Cup Series. As uh, Kyle Petty drove for Leaf for Elliot Sadler, I believe, in this race. But by the time he got on the track, Adam had already... Uh, parked with a blown engine so obviously a tragic situation there it's really sad about what happened with Adam and Kenny Irwin and Dale in this race it's unfortunate that the rules of motorsport have to be written in blood we carry on to make our way into the top 30 now. Slide past Kevin LePage. So we are really good mid-corner. It's rolling. And I like that uh, orange and white paint scheme that Tony Stewart has there in 2000. It's going to be lots of uh, very nostalgic paint schemes in this for me because when I was young, I loved to play with... Uh, you know, die-cast cars. I do, like, pretend races on the floor at my house, and uh, a lot of these cars are the ones that I had. So I'll be, uh... I'll be having a nostalgia trip every time I try and pass somebody. Don't really have a lot of time to get stuck behind these guys, so we're gonna try and make something work on the outside here. If we can. Just so slow mid corner. Jeez. All right, Mike. You about stop there? I don't have time for that. Okay, Mike Bliss. It's it's time for you to go. Let's 
we're trying to wreck it. <laughs> Alright, we'll get to the inside in Nemechek. Now behind Dave Marcis. Only one copy of him in this race, thankfully. And uh, rookie Scott Pruitt driving the uh, 32 tied forward. Interesting. the inside still we've been following rusty for a good long way here i kind of want to get out from the back of him though because i feel like i can go even faster so we're going to be three wide here not quite with kenny schrader but we will use the chance to get to the inside of rusty look at our mid corner speed just carry the momentum off to the inside of dw now gosh daryl waltrip in 2000 is he still driving in the cup series this must have been his last year. So those leaders are pretty far away. I assume Dale's still out front. I saw Bobby Hamilton's green uh, interstate batteries car in second place up there. So let's see what we can do. The inside of Kenny Irwin now. Bobby Hamilton kind of parking it on the bottom. Gave him a little bump there to get him going. So we've been doing really well so far, making up lots of good spots. 24 laps to go when we hit the line. We are knocking on the door of the top 20. We're actually in it now, so good stuff. Just got to really keep the momentum up. That is what I've noticed with this track. If you have to check up on the mid corner, you're going to lose all your momentum on the straightaway. So it's good to time your moves. It's really super speedway-esque in that regard. You know, you have to make your passes off of the corner. Outside. Well, I say make your passes off the corner. You have to get next to him off the corner. And then finish the pass in the next corner. It's so one thing I see people doing wrong on iRacing on super speedways is that they'll try and pass you on the outside at the end of the straightaway by themselves. It's like, well, you're going to be on the outside in the turn. You're not going to pass me. So, yeah, a little, little tip. Make your passes uh, coming off corners. That way you can clear them before you get to the end of the straightaway. All right, we're up into 18th now. Good stuff. Is that uh, Jeffrey Bodine? I think that's a Bell South car. I had a Ricky Rudd here. That is one die cast I remember playing with a lot for some reason. I just liked how it looked. We'll try and get a good view of it. Oh, it's no, it's Power Team. That's right. Yeah, I had this one. I'm pretty sure this was one of the die casts where the hood could pop up and you can look at the engine. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but those were always fun. I'll have to look for some of my old die casts. I'm sure they're pretty beat up for me smacking them into each other all day. Oh man, okay, just don't turn no more. What was that? That was very weird. It just, I thought a tire had gone down or something. I'm triggered from my uh, season mode around here. If you don't uh, remember the live, live 2004 season mode, we made it all the way to the last lap, last corner, and then blew a tire. All right, so we got 20 laps to go. Leaders pretty far up the road. Six seconds now to Dale Sr. We got the time to do it. We just need to make it through traffic without getting held up. Oh, my God. It's Buckshot. <laughs> Who? Uh, yeah, that's right. Buckshot Jones would be in this race. The man, the myth, the legend. What a guy. Buckshot. Now let me go. Try and kind of cross over here from the outside to the inside. Hopefully we can get our nose in before turn one. We do, so we should have him clear here. No chance on the outside. Texas, of course, notorious for being a one-lane track for a lot of its history. 
this track has been controversial, like, throughout time. Uh, when it first opened, it took one of the dates from North Wilkesboro, which closed. So that's already a bad start. And then it, when it got its second race in a lawsuit, it took the Southern 500 from Darlington. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure people weren't too happy about this track. It's really like an iconic venue of like mega NASCAR with its super fast speeds and gigantic grandstands and capacity. I mean, look at this facility. It is unbelievably advanced for the early 2000s. Kind of uh, away from NASCAR's roots, but you know, it's bound to happen with how popular the sport became. Try and work the outside here of Elliott Sadler, really using this uh, maybe one and a half grooves at the well, best we can, because you really don't want to be outside of the dark gray area. There's not a lot of grip out there. Just gonna try and hold it on the very top part of the rubbered in part of the track. Just about make that work. All right, we got a little space now. Coming to get 14 left. Definitely going to be able to make the top 10. Look how much ground we make up when we're by ourselves. So fast. Cut down that lead a little bit. It's going to have to be a heroic drive here. So we got Casey Atwood up here. Another... Uh, name that you might have forgotten. Car outside. Bill Air. Clear. There's that Dale Jarrett up there and his awesome blue, right, and red, blue, white, and red Ford credit. Ford up there. Another iconic paint scheme. I think I see Jeff Burton up there in his uh, exide. Ford. Good stuff. Good times. Just gonna keep pressing as much as we can. So we are getting it almost down to five seconds to the leaders. 12 laps to go. We're gonna need to make up a good chunk of time every time past. It's always bad news when I start to press because I'm very liable to make a mistake. It's been seen time and time again on this channel. Right up behind Dale Jarrett now. Pretty much have to make this move work in turn one. Don't have a lot of time, so we're going to just send one. Hopefully it sticks at the white line. It stuck pretty good, actually. And we're able to carry good momentum to the inside of Kenny Wallace. Still there. Clear outside. Next up on the docket, Terry Levante. Hopefully we can get him in one. We've just got to keep slingshotting past people. He's pretty far up there, though. Ten laps left. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is a risky proposition at this narrow Texas track. That, don't do that. That was dangerous. We carry on. Sterling Marlin next up. Definitely going to be able to flirt with the top five here. Car Chef Gordon's Clear. in fifth in his Rainbow Warrior Chevrolet. Looks like Dale and Bobby Labonte are battling up there for the lead, so that's going to help us out. It'll slow him down a little bit. Kind of tried to light-hearted, weak move to the outside there. It's not going to get it done. Have to be committal. So they're going too wide ahead of me. We're going to bump Jeff Burton off the bottom, get to his inside, catch a slide off of two. So it's only three and a half now to the lead. 
We're gonna have a chance to go three wide, but we're gonna push Jeff clear. Just look to get to the inside of him, send a dive. Make it stick. Dale Sr.'s back up to the lead now. So three ahead of us, and three seconds in it. Hopefully they battle, and that'll just allow us to close right in. So it's going to be six to go now. You're in four. We need to make up about half a second a lap if we want a chance. Just asking a lot. Ah, especially if I push it too hard like that. Oh, come on, guys. Go side by side up there. Just five more to go. Five left now. It's looking grim. I'm just trying to push too hard. It's pretty good through three and four. I don't think it's going to be enough. I think Dale Sr. will reign supreme. Old man. Still got a few tricks. Come on, guys. Just race a little bit up there. You guys think Dale Sr. would have ever slowed down to let his son try and win? I seriously doubt it. And we have a caution. Well, that's going to be the end of the race. Three laps to go. Dale Earnhardt will get the win as we have an accident in turn three. Oh, man, we got big problems. Let's see, what, see what's going on over here. Oh, my goodness. It's carnage. Well, we'll have to take a look at that incident, but that will be the end of this race as it will end under caution. Dale Earnhardt Sr. gets the win. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll go ahead and take a look at the crash replay, and then we'll uh, get on out of here. All right, so let's take a look at the incident that ended the race here. Matt Kenseth gets hooked by Tony Stewart straight into the wall. Jeez, that was a big impact. And he's going to slide down the track. Jesus. All right, well, Hutt Strickland and Johnny Benson pile in. Matt Kenseth up and over, flipping and back on his four wheels. That car is destroyed. It's looking more like a Corvette, kind of the body shape now. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that race. I really appreciate you for watching. Fortunate that we couldn't get the win for Dale, but an Earnhardt is in victory lane, and that's always a good thing for NASCAR. I'll see you guys in the next race.